You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So while we wait for Revnik Allegiance to come and shake up Standard, we are heading to Modern this week for a deck that looks suspiciously Standard-like. This is a deck I'm calling Metallurgic Drakes for Standard. Basically, this deck is doing two things. First off, I think the deck is legitimately sweet. Second, one thing we've had requests for is like, oh, what if I want to play my Standard deck in Modern? And this is, like, in some ways, an upgrade of a popular Standard deck, the Is It Drakes? deck in standard, but for the modern format, you see a lot of similarities, but it obviously is upgraded with cards that are not available in standard, so I think this deck is pretty sweet. I'm excited for this one. As you can see, 98 bucks in the paper world, 22 ticks on Magic Online, so not a bad price, especially for a modern deck. A quick reminder before we break down Metallurgic Drakes for Modern. If you enjoy this deck, and you will enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk some Metallurgic Drakes, and the Drakes of the deck are Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. You probably know these two from Standard. Basically, really similar cards. Enigma Drake, 3 mana. Star 4. Power is equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. Crackling Drake adds an extra mana to the cost. Same power and toughness, though, although it gets power based on the number of instants and sorceries in exile and in the graveyard, plus it cantrips when it enters the battlefield. So these cards are the foundation of our deck. We are looking to stock our graveyard really quickly with cheap cantrippy spells, maybe some burn spells, and then hopefully just beat our opponent down with massive drakes in the air. So our next card is Metallurgic Summonings, and Metallurgic Summonings is basically an answer to one of the problems I found with the deck, which is Enigma Drake can be gotten by Graveyard Hate. Our opponent plays a Leyline of the Void or Rest in Peace. All of a sudden, our Enigma Drake is in 0-4 forever, which is not great. And if we're only relying on Crackling Drake, which naturally gets around that problem because it triggers off Exile as well, but if we're only relying on Crackling Drake, it's possible we just won't have enough ways to close out the game. We just cast all these cantrips and they don't do anything. Metallurgic Summonings makes small artifacts whenever we are casting our cantrips, essentially. So it's kind of our backup plan. If Enigma Drake gets shut down down by Graveyard Hate, we always have Metallurgic Summonings that we can use to just try to go wide with a bunch of small tokens as we cast our spells, and hopefully kill our opponent that way, combined with Crackling Drake, plus it could just make a chump bunch of chump blockers, we can also get back spells from our graveyard if things go crazy, and if it's bad, we can always discard it to like a Faithless Looting or something. So this is our finishing plan, the Drakes and also Metallurgic Summonings. To support these cards, we have 16 one mana cantrips, Faithless Looting, great way to get cards in our graveyard, Opt, a good way to cycle through our deck. Serum Visions digs too deep. Thought Scour, another great way to just stock our graveyard. One of our least controlled cantrips, because it's just like draw a card, but Milling 2 is pretty relevant when we're trying to get as many spells as possible into our graveyard to support our drakes. So in the early game, these cards churn through our deck to find our drakes, to find our metallurgic summonings, and then they help grow our stuff while they're in the graveyard. As far as removal, we get four lightning bolts and two lightning axes to kill bigger things, plus we can afford to discard like a Faithless Looting. It can kind of help grow our drakes as well. Then we have our protection, and one of the key cards to this deck is Stubborn Denial. Thanks to Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake almost always having at least four power, and often way more than four power, this is just like a one mana negate in our deck, which makes it awesome for protecting our drakes from removal, and also just good disruption. If our opponent's trying to, like, combo off with Storm or KCI or something, is it Charm? Does a little bit of everything. Can be removal, can be, like, a bad negate, can be another bad Faithless Looting, but the flexibility makes it pretty solid in our deck. Otherwise, we have a couple of cards specifically for our Drakes. One copy of Assault Strobe is just a way we can one-shot our opponent with the help of a Drake that has at least 10 power by giving it Double Strike, and then Maximize Velocity, same trick as we use in Standard. Like, we could cast it with jump start from our graveyard or cast it from our hand for just one mana and haste a drake in for surprise damage and with our drakes like 
taking Enigma Drape, for example, it's only three mana. In theory, we can cast it for three mana, one mana Assault Strobe, one mana Maximize Velocity, and just kill our opponent out of nowhere on an empty board, which makes the deck really, really scary. As far as the mana base, uh, we're doing what we can. Is it colored lands are really expensive in modern? Cascade Bluffs is the big one. It gives us double red or double blue for Crackling Drake off of any of our mana. Shivan Reef is our backup dual lands. As far as the sideboard, we get a couple of hate cards. Tormod Script for Graveyards, Alpine Moon for Tron and decks like Valakut. Dispel and Stubborn Denial give us some more protection for our Drakes if our opponent's bringing in more removal after sideboarding. Then we get to customize our removal a bit. A Braid for creatures and artifacts. Lightning Axe to kill bigger things like Tarmogoyf and Gurmag Angler. Echoing Truth, All Purpose Bounce, Anger of the Gods, Sweeper against decks like Dredge or Aggro. And that is Metallurgic Drakes for Modern. And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So I'm actually excited for this deck. I've loved Enigma Drake for a long time. Crackling Drake actually makes it legitimate to try to play an all-in Drake deck. Plus, Metallurgic Summonings, one of my pet cards, and I'm excited to give it another shot. So we're going to jump into some modern games, see how this deck actually works. Can you play your Is It Drake decks with not that much of upgrades, like under $100 of upgrades in modern? That's what we're going to find out today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Metallurgic Drakes in modern. And, all right, I mean, this seems fine. Uh, let's just island goo. We got a Drake, we got a couple cantrips. Opponent, Arid Mesa, Craxit, Mountain, and Flame Blade Adept. Well, let's opt. Cascade Bluffs, bottom. Yeah, more lands, more lands. All right, opponent passes. Huh. I'll play the island, pass the turn. Burning Inquiry. Eh, let's counter that. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Oh, they have two. Well, let's Thought Scour. Mill Summonings. Well, let's see what Burning Inquiry does to our hand. Opponent. In the tank-ish. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, at least our opponent discarded Hollow One. Hopefully they do not have another. Man, they had a lot of burning inquiries. Opponent. Getting in with Flame Blade. Down to 16. Now let's Serum Visions. Ooh, summonings on top. Well, Mountain Bottom. Summonings top. Play Cascade Bluffs. Pass the turn. I mean, we're getting close to this Metallurgic Summonings. Opponent. Faithless looting. Gonna do some drawing and discarding. Yep. Two Flame Wake Phoenixes. And Gurmag Angler. Okay. Alright, so let's add blue red. Lightning Axe. Kill Angler. Discard Island. And then opt. And we'll keep summonings. This keeps our opponent from getting back Phoenixes this turn. Opponent gets a tap land. Getting in with Flame Blade. Sure. Down to 13. Well, play Serum Visions. Hmm. Let's... Is it Charm Bottom? Actually, no. Lightning Bolt Bottom. Is it Charm Top? Play Cascade Bluffs. Play Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. Opponent... Cycle Street Wraith. Yup. Burning Inquiry. Well, here comes the dorks. This is gonna be close. Ponet. Flame Wakes. Gets it back. Gets it back. Yup, yup. Well, we are gonna block one. If our opponent's last card is Untap Land Lightning Bolt, that's bad. Ponet passes. We draw an Opt. Man, is there any way we win this turn? Let's opt. Thought Scour to the top. Thought Scour ourselves. Is it Charm? Loot Mode. Discard. Discard. And that looks like a lethal Enigma Drake. 15 power here on turn number five. That's good enough. That's good enough. All right.
Uh, taking down Hollow One. That was pretty good. That was pretty good for our deck. All right, against Hollow One, how do we want to make this work? So I think we cut Stubborn Denials. Not sure if we're going to bring in Graveyard Hate. So cut Stubborn Denials. Bring in Lightning Axes. Bring in Anger of the Gods. And maybe we go down some... <sighs> Let's go down Maximize Velocity. Ugh. I kind of want the Braids too. Go down two Bolts. One Maximize Velocity. Go up two of Braids. And I think we just run it like that. Yeah, more removal. See if it works. Uh, okay, that sounds fine. I mean, we don't have any threats, but we have a decent amount of defense. We'll keep it. All right, opponent does start with Ley Line, which does slow us down. Blood Crypt, Flame Blade Adept. Yup, opponent passes. I'll play Shivan Reef. Pass the turn. I mean, I think we're pretty clearly trying to get to Metallurgic Summonings. That's our main plan here. Opponent cycles Street Wraith. Down to 16. Burning Inquiry. Okay. Well, we got to keep our summonings. Opponent grows Flame Blade. Discards a hollow one. That's good. Goes to combat. Um, let's just Lightning Axe. Discard Faithless Looting. Opponent does have a hollow one. And passes. I'll play the Island Opt. Summonings Bottom. And Serum Visions. Velocity Bottom. Eh. Cascade Bluffs Bottom. Pass the turn. We need to find an answer to Hollow One. Our Enigma Drake's pretty bad with Leyline out. Opponent. Faithless Looting. Bloodgast. Well, at least they're not hitting lands. If we can find an answer for Hollow One, things are kind of good. Opponent gets in. Well, let's opt. There's a Lightning Axe. Put it on top. Play Cascade Bluffs. Pass the turn. Opponent. Faithless Looting. Okay. Discards two Goblin Lores. Goes to combat. Yup. No flame wake. Well, let's lightning axe. Discard Enigma Drake. Opponent passes. Um, alright. Blue red. Faithless looting. Discard Enigma Drake. And a braid. Play an island. Alright, this is it. I mean, let's see what our opponent can do. In theory, we have summonings for next turn. And then we just need to draw spells. Opponent finds a land, gets back Bloodgast. Three cards in hand. Oh, they have Angler? That's bad. Angler probably kills us. All right, Angler. Well, I'm glad they didn't get back the Flame Wake, at least. Opponent passes. Well, new plan. Play Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Opponent. Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Combat. Flame Wake. Gets it back. Goes attacking. Well, uh, yeah, let's kill Gurmag Angler. Opponent passes. That's an op. So play the mountain. Play Metallurgic Summonings. And now it's up to our cantrips. Having our gra graveyard shut down is obnoxious. But our cantrips might still be good enough. Opponent untaps. Combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, let's opt. Mega 1-1. One, one. Cascade Bluffs, definitely bottom. Ooh, another island. That's not good. Well, block Bloodgast. Take two. Opponent passes. Well, Faithless Looting. Make a 1-1. One, one. Discard. Discard. <sighs> All right, pass the turn. Well, we're... We gotta be about done with lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight... Uh, hopefully, hopefully we stop drawing lands. Opponent. Gurmag Angler. It's big. Goes to combat. Gets it. We drop to five. And passes. We manage to draw more lands. All right, pass the turn. Uh, that's, that is daggers. Drawing a land there is so bad. Spell is good. Drake is good. So many things give us a shot there. But whiffing, that's not good. Now we're dead to Lightning Bolt. Opponent. Got the bolt. Opponent passes. All right. Well, our deck uh, kind of betrayed us there. That is, that is a lot of lands. More than we probably 
should have been drawing. All right, run it back. I mean, our po opponent also had the turn zero ley line, which is pretty bad. All right, I mean, we're going to keep. Let's not have a ley line for once. Opponent, mulliganing, trying to find ley line. Finds ley line. Well, mountain and faithless looting. Discard Enigma Drake. Discard Shivan Reef. <sighs> Opponents, they're doing good with the ley lines. I will give them credit for being good at finding ley lines. Opponent cycles Street Wraith. Cycles Street Wraith. Finds a land. Oh, it kind of feels like our opponent did not have a land there. Flame Blade Adept. Opponent. Pass in. I'll play Shivan Reef. Pass the turn. Opponent. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Goblin Lore. Um, do we want to counter this? Yeah, let's counter it. Opponent. I'm gonna get in for one. Passes. I'll play an island. Pass the turn. Gonna need some of our cantrips. This ley line is very obnoxious. Mountain. Hard cast a phoenix. Um, well, let's lightning bolt. How do we want to do this? <sighs> I guess we gotta loot. Discard land and land. Pony gets a flame wake. We will lightning bolt flame blade. And now we'll see if our opponent can kill a crackling drake. Opponent gets in. Yup. We'll play Cascade Bluffs. Run out Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Alright, opponent. Let's see what you got. Hopefully not a Crackling Drake answer. Flame Blade. Opponent. Get in. Uh, we're not gonna block. We don't want to lose our Crackling Drake here to, like, a Lightning Bolt. Opponent passes. Ooh, Lightning Axe. Well, let's opt. Mount into the bottom. Get in with Crackling Drake. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. I think we're a spell away from winning. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Attacks. Well, we take it. Down to nine. Gur Mag Angler. All right. We untap. We Faithless Looting. Discard. Discard. Attack for lethal. Drakes. Are we doing it? Whoo! Through Leyline! Through Leyline! That is... That is our deck winning through one of the better hate cards. That was impressive. If our deck could actually win through Leyline of the Void, oh boy. <laughs> oh, Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake. That was sweet. That was super sweet. Ooh, nice. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some... Oh, God. We did this to ourselves. We did this to ourselves. Uh, restore balance, it looks like. <laughs> okay, island go. <laughs> we're playing some, uh, drakes. I mean, we have some counters, I guess, is what we're looking for. Mountain. Greater Gargadon. That's a good start. Oh, we're so, so in trouble. Two Gargadons. Well, let's Thought Scour ourselves. And do an opt. Untap. Um... Uh, play Cascade Bluffs, pass the turn. <laughs> oh, they respended to restore ballads, okay. I mean, we can hope they just don't have it. That's probably our most legitimate hope at the moment. Spire of Industry. All right, this is exactly our budget magic deck. Well, let's opt. Land to the bottom. Untap. Add some red. Faithless Looting. Ugh, this mana base. Discard Lightning Axe. Discard Lightning Bolt. Faithless Looting. Discard Metallurgic Summonings. And Lightning Bolt. Play Shivan Reef. Pass the turn. Come on. No Restore Balances. No Restore Balances. Pwn it. Whew, no Restore Balance yet. I mean, we can kill pretty quickly with a Crackling Drake. It's going to be big. Blood Mew. That actually does not beat us. Island. I mean, if we can dodge Restore Balance, I think we're oddly okay. Play an island. Well, thank, thank God for our budget mana base <laughs> with so many basics. Crackly Drake, pass the turn. All right, no Restore Balances. No Restore Balances. Opponent, ticking down, ticking down. Swamp, and passes. <sighs> All right, Serum Visions. Bottom, bottom. Get in with Crackling Drake. Hit our opponent. Play Cascade Bluffs. Pass the turn. All right. I mean, is it Charm is some sort of defense? We have lethal next turn if we don't get hit by Restore Ballots. Bone it. Yup. 
Come on. No restore ballads. <gasps> oh boy, Pona scoops it up. Oh my goodness, they did not find it. Well, all right. Uh, we don't have good answers for this, do we? We don't have many additional answers. We can bring in two of braids, Echoing Truth and Stubborn Denial, and go down. I guess just Lightning, Lightning Axe, Lightning Bolt. Don't do anything. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> Run it like that. If they don't draw Restore Balance, we can win. <laughs> I guess that's our plan, is just hope, ooh. We have our Stubborn Denials, but we have zero mana. Gonna have to mulligan. Ooh. Hmm. Cascades Bluffs does not work well as our only land. We're on the draw, we get to scry. We're gonna keep. Op to the bottom. Hopefully we draw a non-Cascade Bluffs land. Is it lands are so expensive? Opponent passes. Well, all right. Uh, we might be getting the budget mana base beat down here. Island for our opponent. Burger post. And passes. All right, pass the turn. Well, I guess joke's on you. You're not going to restore balance many of our lands because we don't have lands. Oh, they got the Gargadon too. And the island. And another border post. This isn't going well. Opponent passes. Huh, Cascade bluffs. Well, pass the turn. Discard a Faithless Looting. I mean, maybe we should have just kept mulliganing. Island. Opponent. Passes. All right, there's a land. So play the land, pass the turn. Stubborn Denial doesn't become good protection until we get a creature down. Restore Balance Suspended plays a Swamp. All right, well, float some mana, Thought Scour ourselves, and then Opt. There's a land. Velocity, bottom. Well, another Crackling Drake. Opponent passes. Play the Mountain. Blue, white... Green, green, red, red. Huh. So we can't really put them off of anything. How do we do this? Let's thought scour ourselves. Serum visions. Um, is it charm? So we have defense for next turn, sort of. Is it charm bottom? Crackling Drake, also bottom. All right, pass the turn. Well, I mean, next turn we can Enigma Drake, Stubborn Denial, if we can survive this turn. Terramorphic, opponent, passing. Well, Thought Scour ourselves. Ooh, Maximize Velocity. Untap. Play an island. Play Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. Well, maybe there's hope. Opponent cracks. Gets a mountain. Uh-oh, here it comes. Violent Outburst. Into Restore Balance. Well, we will... Stubborn Denial. Oh, man. Do they have another Cascade spell? We dodged bullet number one. The deck plays a lot of Cascade spells. Restore Balance, take it down. Bonet. Passing. Serum Visions. So we can't win this turn? Crackling Drake... 8, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're one point of damage short. Uh, so let's Serum Visions. Bottom, bottom. Opt, bottom. That's another Stubborn Denial. Play Shiv and Reef. Get in with Enigma Drake. Hit our opponent. When does this one come off suspend? Four turns. Uh, all right, pass the turn. I mean, this might be working. Maybe Stubborn Denial is just the secret. Because we have a lethal... We have a lethal board for next turn. Opponent. Nahiri. Well, alright. Uh, Stubborn Denial. Ricochet Trap. I think this is still okay. Yep. So opponent gets a Nahiri. I think this is still okay because we have... We have a Hasty Crackling Drake, which should be enough. Gargadon. Opponent tapped out. Oh, we got there. We got there. That was scary, but I think it works. Add our mana. Play Crackling Drake. All standard tricks coming through. Draw a card. And then... <laughs> maximize Velocity. Just like it's standard. 13 you. And that's Modern Drakes. Hit our opponent. That's lethal. Surviving Restore Balance. 
and the deck is working. The stand <laughs> we're basically playing a standard deck, and uh, it's working in modern. It's working in modern. Sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some <laughs> standard in modern, essentially. Is it Drakes? Well, metallurgic Drakes, but in modern, not standard. And this hand's okay. I mean, we got cantrips. It's basically what our hands look. Ooh, Spire Bluff. Ooh, we'll see. If this is Storm, I'm a bit, a bit nervous. Storm does not seem like the easiest map. I, I guess I say that pretty much like, no matter what deck I'm playing, I'm like, man, Storm, we're not gonna beat it. <laughs> All right, we mill a couple cantrips. I guess the good news is our hand is oddly counter heavy, which is kind of where we want to be if we're playing against Storm. Opponent. Ops. I mean, it could be control. Spire Bluff. Mostly a Storm card, Spire Bluff into Cantrip. Control might play a copy or two, but not... <sighs> it's probably Storm. Bone it. Spire Bluff. I guess it could be like a Drake deck too. That's the other possibility. Like, is it... Well, not Drake's, Phoenix. Is it Phoenix? Thing in the Ices and whatnots. Bone it. Passing. Well, yeah, we're just gonna untap. Play the Island. Pass the turn. We can cycle an Is It Charm at some point. It's just so inefficient. Bone it. Steam vents. Tapped. Yeah, all right. I guess we're going to do it. Loot with Izzet Charm. We really want to get something going here. Opponent's thinking about countering. All right. Resolves. We will discard Lightning Axe and Cascade Bluffs. And then we'll Opt. Um, yeah, I guess we'll draw Opt. Untap. Play Cascade Bluffs. Play Enigma Drake. Remand. Well, all right. If you can kill us, you can kill us. Counter remand. So shields are down if our opponent has the storm kill. We have a threat though if they don't. And it has four toughness, so it doesn't die that easy. Island. Are we dead? Electromancer. Odds of death increasing. Manamorphose. Oh, increasing more. <laughs> oh, storm. Yep, yep, yep. Sleight of hand. Ooh, diminishing. Sleight of hand, that's that's not really a combo piece. I still think it's likely we're dead. Opponent. Come on, no death. No death. <laughs> Are they gonna do like mini grape shot to kill Enigma Drake? I mean, this is like a two turn clock. Okay, ritual. Odds increasing. <laughs> oh, all right. Well. That could have went worse. I mean, we lose our threat, but we're not just dead. Uh-oh. Eh, okay. Well, now we lose our threat, and we are probably just dead. What the hell? Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Mountain. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess there's some way that we kill with Crackling Drake this turn. It's not exceedingly likely, but it's not impossible. Mountain, opponent, combat. They could also just have Lightning Bolt. That would kill us. Big attack. Uh, we're dead to Lightning Bolt anyway, so let's block. Down to four. Opponent, tapping, untapping. I mean, it's definitely a log shot. We'd have to hit our Assault Strobe off of these cantrips. Another Electromancer. And, opponent. Oh, come on. Give us a, give us a shot at least. I have no idea what their last card could be where they'd have to think about casting it. All right, opponent passes. Lightning Bolt. All right, so lead with Serum Visions. Bottom, bottom. Um, Blue, red. Opt. Hmm. So Serum Visions. We can't... Uh, serum Visions off blue. All right, keep Serum Visions. Play the Island. Serum Visions. It's all about this Assault Strobe. That's the only card that matters. Bottom, bottom. Faithless Looting. Ugh, that does it. Discard, discard. Is it Charm? Yeah, we're dead. Well, it was a long shot. We only have one. All right, Storm, Storm, Storm. Well, 
against Storm. We put up a pretty good fight, honestly. Like, uh, that was close. We only have one Assault Strobe, though. We got to see a lot of cards, but we couldn't quite find it. So, Echoing True, Stubborn Denial, Dispel in. Tormod's Crips in. Go down. Maximize Velocity. Two Lightning Axes. A couple of Metallurgic Summonings. They seem pretty slow in this matchup. And... Ugh. What else? Maybe we cut all the Metallurgic Summonings in this matchup and just go full-on Drakes. And I guess... I guess one opt. All right, try it like that. Ooh, have Drakes finally met their match? <laughs> the deck has been way better than I would have guessed. I have been... I've been pleasantly surprised with the Drakes. All right, we get to play first. And... Okay. I mean, Cantrips and a Drake... And a counter spell, I guess, is it charm? Eiling go. Bodinch. Spire bluff. And passin. Well, let's just thought scour. Well, there's another Drake. Play Cascade Bluffs, pass the turn. We're hoping for no brawl. We don't have a clean brawl answer at the moment. Opponent ops. Eh, looking a lot like game one, actually. <laughs> and that almost kinda worked out. The question's uh, the problem is like, can we just tap out for a Drake? We need a clock, but there's a super big risk that if we tap out, we just lose. Ponet, please be Electromancer. Oh, Serum Visions, okay. Well, let's see what we find with our cantrips. Ponet passing. Well, add some mana. Step one, Thought Scour. Tormod's Crypts is somewhat helpful. Step two, Opt. Um, I actually don't think we want a second one at the moment. Untap. Faithless Looting. Hmm. Well, play Shivan Reef. Faithless Looting. Discard a Crackling Drake. And a... Ugh, huh. I guess, is it Charm? Actually, maybe it's just both Crackling Drakes. Yeah, discard the Crackling Drakes. Play Tormod Script. Pass the turn. I think our best plan is to try to play defensively. And then hopefully, like, one or two shot our opponent with a Drake. Opponent. Passing. Alright, we draw... Stubborn Denial. Well, play Cascade Bluffs. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Uh, that's Baral. Hmm. That's less than ideal. Well, now we need to... Is it Charm? Loot Mode. Discard Looting. Ugh. Discard Shivan Reef. Untap. Crackling Drake. Well, ha. <sighs> Play Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. So we have a Stubborn Denial, but with a Bur and also a Tormod Script, but with this Brawl out, I'm not sure that's enough. A Lightning Bolt for Brawl would have been super helpful. Opponent. Yeah, seven cards in hand, Brawl. Probably can beat a Tormod Script and a Stubborn Denial. But with the Brawl out, we can't just keep... <sighs> All right, Manamorphose. I guess we gotta wait and try to counter the key spell, basically land oh yeah they didn't have any lands either good god so they have seven spells in hand that's that is scary against storm a braid storm out script well all right fire it off now we're down to just stubborn denial to save us bonnet electromancer well stuff's as cheap as cheap can be grape shot interesting okay hmm all right yep there goes our threat. Opponent. Gets in with Brawl. We untap. Well, replay Tormod Script. Play Crackling Drake. Draw a land. All right, draw an island. Okay. I mean, we've reassembled some amount of disruption. Opponent. I mean, we're putting up a fight. We are putting up a fight. Manamorphose. Cycles, mana. Having two cost reduction effects isn't significantly better than having one. Pona adds some mana. Land. Four cards in hand. And passes. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's Faithless Looting. Well, let's see. Mana, mana, mana. Faithless Looting. Discard. Land. Um. Land and... Yeah, is it charm doesn't do much. Let's discard is it charm land. Get in for seven. I mean, two stubborn denials is a lot. Pass the turn. 
Maybe, maybe this is gonna be enough. Opponent, nothing end step, untaps. Wow. Are we gonna piece this together? Manamorphose, yup. We gotta save our counters for Past in Flames and Gifts Ungiven are the big ones. Opponent, passing? What is their hand? Just all rituals? Gets in, sure. Down to 14. Another Electromancer, yup. Opponent passes. Well, Faithless Looting, step one. Grow our Drake. Hmm. Discard Enigma Drake. Discard Island. Play an Island. Thought Scour. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Attack with Crackling Drake. For 10. And I think we pass. Opponent. Untaps. Serum Visions. We have a Lethal Lightning Bolt. We just gotta find a window, the right window to resolve it. And a post scoops it up? No answers? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Apparently Drake's can take down Storm. Okay. Uh, well, let's do that one more time. One more time. Come on, Drake's. Alright, on to game three, and... Okay, we don't have any real cantrips, but we got some counters, which are pretty important against Storm. We'll give this a go. We'll give it a go. We got a threat. Opponent's mo Oh, man. If we beat Storm, I will be... I will be so happy. Opponent's to five. Spire Bluff passes. Now, Island go. We're hoping that they're on Electromancer plan and not Brawl plan. Or just none. None is also acceptable. Uh, Mountain go. Opponent. Ops. Yeah, we're not going to counter an opt. To the top. Untaps. Land. Please be Electromancer. Pyretic Ritual. Huh. Um. Alright, let's just... Is it Charm? Opponent. Passes. Oh, we could use cantrips. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Pyretic Ritual. What are they... <sighs> hmm. They must have Empty in hand. Okay. Empty. That's not a ton of goblins. I mean, I guess we can even... Stubborn Denial? Actually, let's let it go on the stack. Okay. And then just... Stubborn Denial one copy? Opponent gets two goblins. And passes well play cascade bluffs and we're gonna run out of drake it should be hard for our opponent to combo off from here get a crackling drake draw a card pass the ooh, assault strobe that offers some interesting potential opponent flame slash all right drake down tap land opponent gets in yep down to 18 one card in hand though i think we might be doing this hmm do we wait? Let's Serum Vision. Enigma Drake, bottom. Faithless Looting, top. Play Shivan Reef. Crackling Drake. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. What do you got with your two-card hand? Pieces of the puzzle. Goes digging. Manamorphose Pyretic Ritual. Okay. Well, we have ways to stop that in the future. Shivan Reef. So we know our opponent's hand. Pyretic Ritual, Manamorphose, no attacks. Stubborn Denial is very good. So let's Faithless Looting. I think we're going to win this. Hmm. Discard Shivenry and Enigma Drake. Faithless Looting. Discard Faithless Looting. Actually, let's discard Enigma Drake and Shivenry. Faithless Looting. Discard Is It Charm and Serum Visions. Play the island. Get in for seven. And this gives us this gives us lethal next turn. Alright, opponent. What do you draw? Combat. I mean we win next turn, unless they can straight up kill us. Gets in with the goblins, sure. Down to 14. Brawl. Okay, we win. We got it. We got it. Opponent passes. Um Assault Strobe? Crackling Drake? Game? Taking down Storm? The undefeated standard deck? Opponent Manamorphoses, we dispel, and that should seal the deal? Yup. And a post scoops it up? 
who standard drakes well <laughs> modern drakes technically but basically standard drakes taking down one of the best combo decks in modern and this deck is working it's really really working we're beating all styles of decks and i'm impressed i am very impressed with the drakes oh sweet all right budget magic time we are playing some drakes metallurgic drakes in modern and uh yeah we'll give this a go only one land, but we have cantrips, so we should be fine. I wouldn't have minded it being a dual land for Faithless Looting, but still. I mean, we got a shot. Eh, let's opt. Better than Thought Scour at finding a land. Is it Jarm Bottom? Alright, not a land. Well, let's opt. Lightning Bolt Bottom. Okay. <laughs> well, there is a downside to playing just... Ugh, his Kanta. There is a downside to only playing 18 lands. All right, there's a mountain. Hmm. Uh, that's Faithless Looting. Good God. Um, how do we win this game? Just casting Drake after Drake? Discard Is It Charm and Thought Scour. Serum Visions. Good Lord. Whew, we are having a difficult time finding lands. <laughs> We're doing a good job getting spells in our graveyard. But the land finding plan, not going as well as we hoped. Search for Skanta. Mills and Opt plays an island. Is our opponent playing mono blue? That's scary. Opponent passes. Land. All right, there's an island. Um, yeah, let's just pass. Leave up our counters. We have Thought Scour and sort of Visit Charm. Mills Ancestral. All right, this looks like mono blue turns to me. Well, let's Thought Scour. And also Thought Scour. There's a land. Untap. Play Shivan Reef. Play Enigma Drake. I mean, it's big. That's an 11 for opponent. Oh, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the win. We're going to go for the win. Uh, Stubborn Denial, Cryptic. This is a risky line. It's possible our opponent just untaps and casts extra turn spells and win. They only have search for his content for card draw, though. So hopefully they need more than just that to really go infinite. Usually they need like a Jace or a Howling Mind or a Dictated Crew Fix. Something, something for free card draw. Island. Brawl. Opponent. Passing. Well, get in with Enigma Drake. Hit our opponent for 12. Opponent Cryptics. Well, I mean, is it Charm? Counter. Hit our opponent for 13. Play an Island. Play Enigma Drake. And all right, opponent, it's on you. If you can combo off and kill us, then, then you got us. Mills a logic knot. Land. Scoops it up? Did not, oh, they did not have the answer. All right. Maybe it's not turns. Maybe it's just mono blue control. We'll bring in Dispel and Stubborn Denial. And maybe Tormod's Crypt? Huh. We can go down the Lightning Axes. I don't know. Huh. Maybe we just run it like this. I mean, that worked. Our counters and our drakes. Maybe this deck is actually pretty good in modern. We're having some good some good luck with it so far. Alright. Um okay. Sure. This looks like the kind of hand that we would keep. <laughs> Play Shiv and Reeve. And let's just pass. I'm on board with countering a Escanta if we need to. Opponent passes. Well, thought scour. More crackles. Um well, that's Faithless Looting. Discard Shivan Reef Faithless Looting. Play an island. Pass the turn. Ponent, island. Ancestral, suspended. Ponent, passing. Hmm. Well, I guess we start running things into counters. Play Cascade Bluffs. I mean, make them have a counter. Enigma Drake. Ponent has Mana Leak. Sure. Well, there's counter one. Pass the turn. Ancestral taken down. Still a few turns to go. Opponent. 
island and passes. Hmm. Let's looting. Wow, fires off the cryptic. We'll play Shiv and Reef past the turn. Okay. Well, out of all the things to eat a cryptic, pretty okay with it being a faithless looting. There's this Kanta. This would be a good turn to draw land. This would be a really good turn for land. That's a mountain. All right. So now we get to Crackling Drake. Resolves. We draw a card. And pass the turn. Leave up our Stubborn Denial. Bone it. Untaps. It seems like Mono Blue should be, like, somewhat bad, at least, at dealing with Drakes once around the battlefield. Island. Opponent. Pass in. Hmm. All right, let's do it this way. Red, blue. So start with Serum Visions. That's another Stubborn Denial. That's really good. Um, bottom the island. Top Serum Visions. Play the island. Get in for five with Crackling Drake. Hit our opponent. Down to 15. Echoing Truth. Well, let's Stubborn Denial. Disallow. Well, we will... Is it Charm? Eh, if we can tap properly. Is it Charm? Untap. And we're definitely going to try to Stubborn Denial Ancestral. Our opponent could have another counter. Ancestral comes down. Well, I mean, we're going for it. Stubborn Denial. Opponent has a Mana Lake. All right, so they get to draw cards, which is good for them. The bad news for them is we still have a massive Drake. They get to flip his Kanta, but they still have to deal with the Drake. Plays a land. What do you got, opponent? Opponent passing. Well, let's Serum Visions. Put on top. Put on top. Faithless Looting. Discard. Hmm. Enigma Drake. Crackling Drake. Bold our opponent's face. Engulf the shores. Well, stubborn denial. Game? Is it game? Down to 12? Exactly 12? Attack? Drakes? Whoo! Oh man, this deck has been sweet. This deck is taking on all covers, fighting through a ton of counter spells. Man, stubborn denial with Drakes. Uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet! Wow, well, if you're looking to play your standard cards in Modern, looks like we might have an option. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Drake, Drake, Drake. Sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some more Drakes in Modern. And, eh, I mean, assuming we hit our land drops, this hand seems pretty reasonable. We got lots of threats. We'll just pass and opt. We really want a red source. If we can, Thought Scour plus Faithless Looting next turn and end up with a land for our Drakes, then we're in pretty good shape. Let's opt. <sighs> well, we're going to keep the island. It's not a red source, but it is a source. Thought Scour. Eh, that might have been a slight misstep. Probably should have held the land in case we drew a red source, but Thought Scour ourselves all right no red source drawn pass the turn well cantrips are red mana that's what we that's what we need opponent aired mesa cracks it sacred foundry pepped i don't know what our opponent's playing some sort of weird mid-range deck still could be like jess guy opponent passing well island go Ooh. Our mana base is sort of betraying us here. Opponent. Craig's Aired Mesa. Sacred Foundry tapped. I mean, really, our deck has... <laughs> with kind of clunky mana, our deck has done pretty well. Oh, champion. I do not know what's happening. Some sort of Norin deck? Ooh, okay, pass the turn. Hmm. Uh, come on, red mana. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, uh, not like this deck. Not like this. Well, pass the turn. I'd even be happy with just being able to play a Drake so it gets path. <laughs> that would, even that would make me happy. Aaron Mesa. 
Tajik. Oh, boy. Okay. Huh. So, red-white humans. Well, we're going to be in trouble if we don't draw red mana. That's the TLDR. Opponent. Combat. Hits us for six. At this point, we kind of need, like, Cascade Bluffs, really, to make double red. Then we could Faithless Looting and also Lightning Bolt or play Drake. And it would get us to Crackling Drake eventually. Down to 14. Opponent passes. Oh, God. All right. Well, I guess the, the Drake luck has run out. And discard Maximize Velocity. Planes for our opponent. Thalia's Lieutenant. All right. Uh, one, two, three, eight. Yeah, we're dead. We will scoop it up. Go to sideboarding. I feel like this can be an okay matchup. We get two Anger of the Gods, two Abrades, maybe two Lightning Axes, if we can find room. Go down, let's go down Maximize Velocities and Stubborn Denials. And, hmm, a deck could definitely have Rest in Peace. Let's go down one Metallurgic Summonings. Try it like that. I think Enigma Drake is still okay. Even if our graveyard is wrecked. Alright. Well, I mean, this is functional. Is it Charm is technically a removal spell. Faithless Looting, not the best on turn one, but... Uh, mountain, Faithless Looting. Gotta get that card advantage go uh, disadvantage going. Discard a Lightning Axe. And a... Uh... Yeah, Shivan Reef. It's a little risky, a little risky to discard the land, but hopefully Thought Scour takes care of it. I guess if we're in a real pinch, we can Is It Charm for a land, although we'd like to avoid that. Arid Mesa, opponent, passing. Well, there's a land. So play an island, pass the turn. Opponent, cracks, Arid Mesa. Sacred Foundry, tapped. Planes for our opponent. And Thalia, well... All right, Thought Scour. There's a Crackling Drake. Opponent passes. Well, I mean, play Cascade Bluffs, play Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. Opponent, Mountain. And, all right, there's a Rest in Peace. That's not ideal, obviously. Opponent passing. Well, pass the turn, I guess. No attacks. We gotta get to this Crackling Drake at some point. Cavern of Souls. On human. And Thalia. Sure. Bonet. No attacks. Well, let's kill Guardian of Thraben. Untap. Uh, Serum Visions. Looting Bottom. Island Top. Pass the turn. <laughs> Enigma Drake is... It's a good wall. Opponent's not attacking through it easily. Wow, lightning bolts our face. That's aggressive. Land for our opponent. Hand Weir Garrison. Okay. And... Thalia's Lieutenant. Um, I guess we got a lightning bolt Garrison. Unfortunately, this does make this Thalia annoying. Opponent gets it. Yep. We will take it. Down to 13. Opponent passes. Well, play an island and get down Crackles. It is tapped, but draw a card. Opponent only has one card left in hand. Pass the turn. No attacks. Sacred Foundry. All right. Come on. No path. No path. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in. Well, we'll take four. Down to nine. And... Boros Charm. All right, down to five. Opponent's out of cards, though. Untap. Serum Visions. Mmm. Huh. Do we even want summonings at this point? Let's go bottom. I think we go bottom, bottom. Attack for eight. Hit our opponent. Play Cascade Bluffs. Pass the turn. So we can... Chump and then kill Thalia's lieutenant. I think this plays around the most. And then Crackling Drake should be lethal next turn. All right, opponent just draws a land. Goes to combat. Attacks. Um, yeah, let's... 
Let's is it charm. Loot mode. Discard Enigma Drake. Discard Enigma Drake. Lightning Bolt Thalia. Block Thalia. Yeah, we got it now. Crackle's gonna take it down. Whew. Well, that was close, but even through the rest in peace, that's one of the things I've been impressed about with this deck is we have done a pretty good job of of even winning with Graveyard Hate. We beat a Leyline of the Void, and it looks like we're about to be a rest in peace as well. Like, it's awkward that it shuts down Enigma Drake, but between Crackling Drake and Metallurgic Summonings, we have been able to beat Graveyard Hate. Shivan Reef, well, we will just... Yeah, I guess we tap properly, just to be sure. Is it Charm? Loot Mode. Pumps Crackles. Discard. Discard. And attack for 11. And that should do it. Man, Crackling Drake is quite the magic card. Even in Modern. Even in Modern, it's still quite the magic card. <laughs> even through a rest of peace. Wow. Uh, well, this deck is working. Beating Graveyard Hate was a concern, but the deck has proven itself worthy to beat Graveyard Hate. Pwned it. Dead? And, okay, uh, let's, let's do it one more time. One more time. Yeah, uh, run it back. We got the removal, we got the cantrips. Come on, deck. Be good to us one last time. Okay, we'll keep. I mean, we don't have an easy way to beat... A rest in peace with this hand, but who well, there's crackles. Just kidding, we do. Serum Visions. Uh, let's go opt top, is it charm top? So we'll have a removal spell for next turn if if we need it. Opponent, bold surface, down to 17. Planes, and passes. Well, play Cascade Bluffs, and let's just pass. Play a little bit conservative. Leave up this is it charm. Opponent, Boros Charms. All right, we're down to 13. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Always watching. All right. Well, now I guess we're going to... Loot with Is It Charm. Discard Faithless Looting. Discard... Hmm. Shivan Reef. Opponent passes. Well, as long as our opponent doesn't have a Graveyard Haze spell... Our Drake should be good. Thought Scour. Well, play Shivan Reef. Run out Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. Opponent's got three cards in hand. Opponent. Land. And. Path. Okay. We will grab a Island. Opponent. Passing. Two cards in hand. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Opponent passes. Uh, we'll play Cascade Bluffs. Play... Enigma Drake. Pass the turn. Opponent. Boros Charm. Now we're down to nine. But opponent's only got one card in hand. Plays a land. Uh-oh. Chandra Torture Defiance. Kills Enigma Drake. Well, we will add some mana. Let's opt. And we'll keep Thought Scour. Thought Scour. Ooh, Assault Strobe. Okay. Well, Drake down. Opponent. Passing. Island. So, add some mana. Red, red. Blue, blue. Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Play an island. Opt. Anger to the bottom. And pass the turn. Well, uh, our opponent needs to kill us or kill Crackling Drake this turn. Champion, okay. What do they hit off Chandra? That's the question. Boros Charm. Oh, we should have it. We have the combo kill. Drakes? Drakes are doing it. Sure. I mean, hit us for four, down to five. But, opponent's out of action, and now we should win. Thought Scour ourselves. Untap. Thought Scour ourselves. I think we got it. Mountain. Faithless Looting. Discard. Discard. And, yeah, I mean, I think we just win. Assault Strobe, Combat, Double Strike. That's 28, and it could be even more. Attack our opponent, and Drake's for Modern. The deck works. The deck works. If you want to make use of your standard cards, it seems like a pretty good option. Uh, I don't know what to say. Drake's, Drake's, Drake's.
Ooh, sweet. So what do we learn this week about metallurgic drakes in modern and the deck was great. We went 5-0 and oh in our five matches, and while we did play a couple of brew-ish decks, we played some pretty legit decks as well. We beat Hollow One. We beat Storm. We beat a hardcore counterspell mono blue control deck. We beat kind of a unique Boros Humans deck. We beat Restore Balance against all odds. So the deck, it took on all comers, and I was surprised by how powerful it was, and maybe the most impressive part of this deck was throughout our matches, our opponents had rest in pieces. They had Ley Lines of the Void. We were playing, like, 0-4 Enigma Drakes, not being able to use our Faithless Learnings from the Graveyard, like, having a big chunk of our deck locked down by powerful sideboard cards, and our deck was fine. Like, we were able to win through the hate cards, which makes me think that this deck is actually surprisingly effective. It's not the fastest deck in modern, but it can win by surprise. It is pretty fast, and Stubborn Denial is just a great form of disruption, and having a ton of cantrips makes the deck really consistent. So I was kind of blown away. If you want to take your Is It Drake deck, do a few upgrades and play it in modern, it seems like a surprisingly legitimate option even on a budget. Like, the deck could be better if the mana base was better. Uh, Metallurgic Summon Eggs, we gotta talk about Metallurgic Summon Eggs. Uh, maybe it's not even necessary. It's such a sweet card, but it really didn't do a whole lot through our matches. There's some games where we really wanted it, but couldn't find it, and then there were other games where we found it and we didn't really need it. In theory, it's protection for Graveyard Hate, but maybe it's not really necessary. Maybe we can just go another direction. Maybe you just play Niv-Mizzet like you do in Standard and say, okay, can you beat a Niv-Mizzet? So I think there's some options with the metallurgic part, but the plan of playing eight drakes, a ton of cantrips, some hasty surprise double strike stuff, uh, it seems surprisingly legitimate, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, even though we played a couple of rogue decks, we beat the legit decks, we beat the combo decks, we beat the aggro decks, we beat the control decks, we took out all comers and metallurgic drakes. It was just, it was good. It was, it was surprisingly effective. So I don't know what else to say. I mean, it seems like a pretty legit option as far as budget decks go for the modern format. So anyway, that's about our budget magic for today. Metallurgic Drakes for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.